what's up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get here with the truth so today we're doing the what's next on robson concisal the now former three-time world title challenger following his draw with the manu navarate as he challenged for the wbo super featherweight title at 130 pounds um, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel up here. Now, back to the Concise Al Navarate fight. You know, I did let everybody know that Robson Concise Al might be a problem matchup, or, uh, you know, a matchup problem for Navarate. I just thought Navarate would outwork Concise Al, but Concise Al surprisingly outworked Navarate. Navarate and I thought he outboxed him most of the fight. I mean, I was fine with 8-4. It, it could not It could have even been 9-3 to three in terms of rounds. But those two knockdowns that Navarate scored on Concisal were huge. They played the difference and allowed Navarate to walk away with a draw and the world title still with him. Now, the big question is what's next for Robson Concisal following this draw with Navarate? Well, at 35, you really have to look at, um, you know, who it is out there and if he is going to have to start over from scratch or what. Because obviously, a rematch is what he would want. They're both with top rank. It's not a hard fight to make. But Navarrete had his sights set on the light, had his sights set on the lightweight division. Does he vacate the WBO title? and move up and leave concise out hanging um we don't know that's the big that's the trouble here is we don't know what's going to happen for uh robson concise out with a, a potential rematch with navarate because navarate can move up he, he was had ideas of possibly fighting lomachenko maybe shakur stevenson at 135 um you know and now oshaki foster is also there for a potential matchup with with uh, Navarate to unify belt so since he's a top rank guy now but again a lot of things up in the air so following him is a rematch with Oscar Valdez in the cards I don't see that one Valdez is coming off of his um his what second loss in his last three fights I don't think he's gonna want to fight a guy that I believe he got a lucky decision against and a fighter that most people feel that he lost against um, you know, that's the thing. A lot of people, myself included, thought Concise Out beat him. He's a bad style matchup. And I think um, he would want to stay away from the rematch at this point with Concise Out. Then there's Joe Cordina, the IBF champion. Cordina has just better options that he could take that aren't such a style matchup. You know, plus it's matchroom working with top rank. Not likely going to go down. Um, unless it's an easy fight to make. So, not seeing this one. Again, Cordina has other better options on the table. Then there's Oshaki Foster. I really believe this fight is possible. Oshaki Foster is currently in um, optional mode following his mandatory title defense and knockout against Rocky Hernandez. He is the number, uh, Concise is the number two contender anyways in the WBC. Um, he's fought for that title a couple times now. Um, and, you know, Foster is going to struggle to find quality opposition. Um, he was already doing that before, but he decided to sign with Top Rank, who only has a couple top guys. If Navarrete vacates the WBO belt and moves up, then I think it's very possible um, that Foster and Concisal get together next because Foster wants to establish himself and Concisal is a deserving challenger. So I believe that fight could happen next if um, Navarrete moves up and doesn't want the rematch with Concisal. Um, then there's Hector Luis Garcia, the former WBA champion. Not likely. He fights with the PBC. He's coming off of a second consecutive loss. Um, and again, it's PBC working with top rank for a contender's belt. Not seeing it. Then there's Shavkat Rakhimov. Not likely. Rakhimov is uh, lined up 
to fight um, in an IBF final eliminator next. Um, and, you know, he's also a, a matchroom guy. So um, I don't believe there'd be interest from matchroom and Eddie Hearn when they're trying to get Rockamoff back in contention to go at rematches with potentially Zelfa Barrett or Joe Cordina. Then there's um, uh, Zelfa Barrett, who's also with Matchroom. Not likely. These are two guys that create style problems for a lot of people. Not likely that the mat that Matchroom and Top Rank would work together to bring um, these two guys together. Um, Lamont Roach Jr., the new WBA champion. Um, I wouldn't completely rule Roach being interested, but I also think he's a DAZN and Golden Boy guy. And I don't think he would fight uh, a top ranked guy who ha it can pose style issues if he doesn't have to. I think he, he would just go for a better option that he could bring over to the zone. So I'm not seeing that one. Um, then there's guys like Rocky Hernandez who came up short against Oshaki Foster recently. I think that's a great matchup right there. Rocky against Konsaisal. It could, you know, push the winner towards the top um, of of one of one uh, of the WBC but you know that doesn't mean it's gonna happen and then um, finally uh, there's Edward Vasquez who just came up short against um, against Joe Cordina um, for the IBF title so they kind of have something in common but would the two sides come together for a fight like this and I'm just not seeing it so for me if you're looking at top 10 guys, I really believe there's two options. Either a rematch with Navarrete, which I think is 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 highly possible, and then a shot at Oshaki Foster for the WBC title next. I think that could happen as well. So we'll see what happens, but that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next on former three time world title challenger Robson Conciso following his draw as he tried to capture the WBC uh, super featherweight title at 130 pounds. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.